Hi everybody. I just wanted to share this really cool game that Angelica and Miss Jordan made up this afternoon for comparing decimals. So I got my friend Sheriff Woody here to help out. Hey cowboys. Anyway, so here's the way it would go. Each person would need four dice. And before you started, you would agree with the partner you're playing against if you were trying to create a larger decimal number or a smaller decimal number. And then you compete to see who can do the job and have the smaller one or the larger one. So Sheriff Woody, what do you think? Should we go for the larger one or the smaller one? Oh, really? You say Buzz would say shoot for the moon. So we'll go for the larger ones. Okay, so I'm gonna roll first and I'm gonna roll my four dice and I am gonna ask you to make a whole number with three decimal places. So if I look at the dice that I have, in order to make the largest number possible, let's see, I would want the whole number to be the largest, so I'm gonna put the six right there. And then I'm gonna want the tenths to be the largest with the hundredths the next largest. And then I have the thousandths being the smallest. So I've just created the decimal six and 542 thousandths. That's a pretty good size decimal. Okay, Sheriff Woody, it's your turn. Uh-oh, I don't think Sheriff Woody's gonna like this roll very much. Those are much smaller numbers, but let's see what I can do with them. So I'm gonna create the same template for the numbers, a whole number and three decimal places. Now, the biggest whole number I have here is the three. So if I'm trying to make the largest number, we're gonna put that one first. And then let's see, we have a two, a two, and a one. So we're gonna put the two largest numbers, whoops, sorry about that, Sheriff Woody, and the one. So the biggest number I was able to create with this roll was three and 221 thousandths. So because we decided to shoot for the moon, we are going to look to see whose decimal is larger. And my decimal was six and 542 thousandths, and Sheriff Woody's is three and 221 thousandths. So what do you guys think? What do you think, Sheriff Woody? Yep, he agrees with you guys that we are looking at Mrs. Rendock's decimal being larger so I'm just gonna put a star next to that to tell that that was the bigger number. Now, on the next roll, what do you think, Sheriff Woody? Should we try for the smallest one? Okay, all right. So I'm gonna let Sheriff Woody go. Oh, knocked him over again, poor guy. I'm gonna let Sheriff Woody go first since he was the loser last time. Ooh, now we're trying to make the smallest number. So I know I don't want that six anywhere. Let's see, how about the whole number being two? and then the tenths being two, and then 36. All right, so let's write that down. So we've got two and 236 thousandths. That looks like the smallest one we can make. Okay, now let's go over to my dice. Oh boy, I got large numbers again. I don't think this is the best time to get those large numbers, we'll see. Okay, I've got the whole number three and then I want four in the tenths because that's the smallest it can be. And then the two sixes. So let's see what I ended up with. Three and 466 thousandths. Okay, now remember, we're trying for the smallest decimal this time. So there's my decimal, three and 466 thousandths. And there's Sheriff Woody's decimal, two and 236 thousandths. So what do you think is the right one, Mr. Woody? Who got it this time? You did. Oh, let's see if the kids agree. Kids, do you agree? Oh, I just remembered I didn't hold my phone right. That Sheriff Woody's decimal is smaller than mine? You do? That's awesome. So Sheriff Woody gets the point that time and we'll just put a star next to his decimal because that was the smallest one. So hopefully we might get a few minutes to try this in school. If not, you can try this at home. It's just a fun way to be practicing saying your decimals 
and talking about their place values. All right, Woody. What is that? Oh, run like the wind, bullseye, he said. Go play, kids.